Hi, Oliver is here again. Today I bring you one articulated talk. It is from Lusu 1216 size. This one is 8060H. And 1216 size is a little smaller than the other XT loader 1214 size, but this one, the maneuvering more smooth, driving with more fun. We will operate to see. Okay, I already put the small battery inside, so let's first uh, switch on the light. Turn in and the other light. Off. On. Okay, now it's all on. Also at the back. The back side also have light. So let's, I will drive it. So turn in. That's turning signal light, turning right, turning left, forward. You will also have the light here, the back side of the mirror. So this one got no sound system. So let's see the turning signal. Turning left. Now the pump not start. Only see the light. Okay, so let's drive forward with pump start. Here now it is low speed gear. This one called two speed. Then we will see the details. The pump stop. This pump middle position, so can increase to a higher pump speed. Stop it. So middle already enough for this operating speed. They're already very smooth. So let's see from the front. We open the engine cover. From here, you will see inside we got the motor and the pump here. Pump outside we got this fan for cooling and here is the distribution valve with servo down there these wires you see they got the, the driving motor driving motor go to under the cabin later we see under there from bottom we will see the transmission gearbox so here is the light this battery and there we put the receiver down there okay so this one is the pressure release valve. Okay, so we close it. You can see there. No. This one is the oil tank. This is only the pressure and the real oil fill up from here. Okay, so let's see the cabin. So this one 
let me see the material it is all metal okay so good so all this handrail also this light bar this is also all metal so for this one as we see only the hose wire and the, the windshield it is plastic others it is all metal okay let's see the cabin from here you see inside got the driver and the seat and here got the mirror the handbar the ladders see the details and this exhaust pipe here coming the, the hose this is the wire for the lighter and the receiver for the back side. Here's the hose. I will turn it for you to see the articulate jun junction. So you can see this one. As long as the wire not bent it too much, it can turn. So when you're driving on the mountain, well, uh, uh, some rocks ahead, no problem. This one can climb over and turn it. Okay, here's the block distribution of the two, the hose to the two cylinder for lifting up the bucket. Down there, you see these two cylinder. It is inside. Only connection here it is for steering. So this one is for locking the turning. So during shipping, more safe. Okay, from here we will see the this one servo controlling three wires. So that's for differential lock to three axle. Okay, let's look back. So this one, the frame. Down there, you see the axles. Here's the CVD driving shaft. Okay, let's see from this angle. See here, the CVD driving shaft. Here is the middle transfer case. Okay, so I will put this one down so we can see. Here are the wires for connecting this one. The, the end port position. This one also. This one go to the wire. Let's start the pump. Put it down. So at this angle, so after put it down, the door will be automatic closed when lifting up. Open. Okay, pump stop. See the back side here. Come here. So the back side got different light. And here's a junction for the bucket turning up, lift up and down. Here's this one after the bucket lift to top position. This one can be locked to keep it there. Okay, so from here we will see the, the uh, this connecting bar for the suspension. Here is the pin acting like uh, this suspension. So all the uh, rear two axles can turn in. Like this, you will see it. So from the middle, got this bar connecting. This in the middle is the black one. It is very strong one. Connecting, it's like a bridge connecting rear side two axles. This bridge in the middle got the pin. Okay. Let's see this side. So that's all the details. From the outside, you can see. Let's see the bottom. Here, easy, easy. Anyway, it's strong without decoration. I can put it down also. Okay, let's see this one better. I hold so here's the front axle, here's the ESC for the driver motor, and uh, the transmission gearbox. This is there. I will move a little one minute. I will control the. You will see the transmission gearbox gear changing. Maybe you can see it's inside there. Uh -huh. This one comes this angle, shooting from here. To that. This one is the, the gear for speed. Let's move it. Low. Now it's low speed. High speed. Low speed. Okay, we keep at this position. So let's see this driving the shaft. Let's see the differential lock here. This one, the lock, we will lock it. Now it's differential. Now it's locked. Okay, let's drive with differential. See the, see the tires. 
engaged, engaged the gear, driving differential. Okay, now we will drive with differential lock. Okay, it's going, it's going forward. Okay, so differential not locked. Let's see it, uh, react, so let's see again. So, now it clean a little, it's just assembled. Still have some dirt here. Okay, so because this one is the rear axle, let's see the safety drive shaft, the axle, this junction for suspension, and this one you can see the bridge here, the for connecting the two axles. Also, from here you will see the differential lock moving. This one locked, unlock. Okay, so that's pretty much for this. The chest is okay. Uh, so let's drive again a little bit. See it? That's all the details you already see. Okay, pump start. Okay, uh, put it down. Let's turn and drive it. Thank you very much. We will see another model again another day. Bye bye.